In this example, we're going to look at an exponential equation in the form a times b to the x and an exponential equation in the form a times e to the kt. The top model, the a b to the x, is sometimes called the annual growth model or yearly growth, monthly growth, depending on what time unit or unit you have on your independent variable. And the second model is usually called the continuous growth model because it uses E as its base and the rate that K represents will be uh, monitored continuously rather than the annual or yearly, monthly, whatever it happens to be for your unit of time in the other example. So we want to be able to convert from one to the other. So uh, those are just the basic forms for those two equations. I'm going to leave them up there so that we can see them. But I'm going to make an equation. I'm just going to make something up for it. So I'm going to say that I start with an initial value of uh, 75. So 75 is going to be my A value that I'm going to use. And let's make a growth function. And let's say our growth function has a 2% growth. So it has a 2% growth annual growth rate. I would use 1.02 for the base, right? Oops, to the x, there we go. So this is an annual growth function with a 2% growth rate above and beyond one, 100%, growing above 100%. So if it's growing by 2%, its growth factor is 1.02. Okay, so I already have created my own function that has an annual growth rate. I wanna now create a function that is in continuous form, and I want to figure out what the k value needs to be so that these two functions are growing at the same rate. What would the continuous growth rate be for the annual growth rate of 2%? So the a value in both of these equations is the initial amount. So I made this up, but the initial amount is 75. So my initial amount in this one is going to be 75 as well. What I don't know is what k is. And since the a values are the same, I know that the b to the x, and I should call them both x or both t, I'll just make them both x for right now. I know that the b to the x or the e to the kx, those parts need to be equal, and since x is already equal to x, then what I know is that b needs to equal e to the k. Okay, so the b value that I have chosen for this function is 1.02, so usually you would be given your rate or your growth factor, and I just made mine up right here for this example. So the B value that I've been uh, given or chosen was 1.02. That needs to be equal to e to the k, and my goal is to figure out what k is. So I'm going to graph y equals e to the k, and we're going to look for our k value. Now, with B equals uh, 1.02, that's an output value. I want to basically plug it in for my output. So I'm going to plug it in for y, and then I can look for the intersection point. So by graphing y equals my b value and y equals e to the k, I can find out that the k value is 0 0.189. So when I go to write my function, it's going to be y equals 75 times e to the 0. I forgot the number, 0 0.198, 0 0.198x. And so I'm going to move this up here just so that I can look at these two equations together. And I'm going to turn these ones off so I don't see those anymore and zoom home real quick here. All right. Um, so these two things should be showing up in my graph. I can't see them because I have 75 for my input value. My graph's not showing 75, so let me just pop the y-axis up above 100. Let me go for 150, and then I can zoom out from there. And I can see that these two equations, I only see one thing, so let me I'll go ahead and dot this one out. I can see that they're the same now that I've dotted one of them out. I can see the purple line is showing underneath, and the blue line is showing on top of it. So they're representing the exact same function, but they're displaying the information differently. The first function up here is saying that this equation uh, grows, I need to note there, so this one grows by 2% annually, or it has an annual growth rate of 2%. Uh, I might phrase it that way instead. annual growth rate of uh, 2% per year. And again, if the, your units aren't years, if they're months or hours, you would say it was an hourly growth rate of 2% per hour or whatever the units happen to be. They're based on the time units for the situation you're working on. And then this one down here has a continuous growth rate of 
of, and so it's our k value, and our k value came out as, um, this is going to be 1.98% if I convert 0 0.0198 into a percentage. So it's 1.98%. And so, again, the 2% came because I was 2 percentage larger than 1. I am above 1, 100% or above 1 by 0 0.02 or 2%. So it's showing me an annual growth rate of 2%. The continual growth rate is the K value expressed as a percentage. If I move the decimal place over twice, I'm at 1.98%. All right, so that's how I can take a continual uh, or find a continual equation, a continual growth equation from a annual growth style equation. This is something that you are going to do for project number 17. In project number 17, I have told you what your growth rate is. And so you're going to use that growth rate to find the corresponding growth factor. And then you're going to intersect the growth factor with e to the k so that you can find your k value and what you ultimately would like to do is to write your equation as a continuous growth function.